Hey guys, this is Scott with Mayhem RC and just wanted to do a quick video this evening about the Traction Hobby Founder. Um, you saw me unbox this vehicle, I don't know, three weeks ago and um, I love it and just uh, wanted to just give you guys a little overview and uh, tell you what I've learned so far. Um, those are not... We'll go ahead and talk about it. You see the weight of this vehicle? Um, those are Super Swampers from um, RC four-wheel drive on some knockoff method wheels. And this vehicle has got so much weight. Um, it doesn't have closed cell foams in it. It's just got the regular stock foams that just uh, in there and uh, Great for rock crawling, but um, not great for moving around the trails quickly. So I actually ordered some uh, Crawler Concept uh, 6.0 double deuces, and they should be here sometime Monday, Tuesday next week. And uh, I'll install those into the tires and show you guys. These are the stock wheels and tires that came with it uh, I like them um, they're uh, 2.2 like I said in my last video they're a 2.2 beadlock and um, yeah they're great um, tried them out they did really well on the trail did pretty good on the rocks they're a pretty soft compound but they're not as soft as of course these um, super swampers are <clears throat> and I think this is a more just all-around tire for rock crawling as well as like trail trail riding um, You know going through the dirt and even a little mud every now and then but um, This thing's amazing um, if you guys uh, don't know traction hobby is a new company that came out uh, you may have heard of the Cragsman um, if you watch RC Adventures YouTube channel medic over there has a uh, couple videos up of the Craigsman he bought and um, or he has and painted and uh, got it got it going and the two vehicles are similar the way they look uh, their size uh, they're almost identical as far as that but that's about where it ends the founder came out first um, and it is all metal and carbon fiber the only thing plastic on this rig is the body and all the scale parts mirrors you know light bar those kinds of things the interior but um, that's where the plastic stops everything else is um, either alloy or carbon fiber the Cragsman on the other hand while it does have uh, either aluminum or alloy axle housings uh, links um shocks i believe um that's about where it stops uh and the, the chassis is metal i don't believe it's carbon fiber don't quote me on that but like i said medic you medic does a great job of showing that vehicle off and if you want to see it go check out rc adventures uh cragsman by traction hobbies and you'll see the difference but um plastic wheels on the cragsman this one comes with full aluminum bead locks and these are real bead locks those are 24 uh, screws that you have to remove in order to take these tires apart as you can see on the inside there are no ways to cheat so um just so you know too i want to mention this um nothing bad i'm saying about traction hobbies but when they put these together they mean for them not to fall apart uh, all of these screws are uh, thread locked in here, and they are a very, very big pain in the butt to get out. So um, just know that this is very good workmanship. They put these together, and they put them together, not just the wheels, but the entire rig, um, where any screw goes into metal has been completely thread locked and um it don't come apart easy, <laughs> just so you know. Some of the screws actually had to be heated up. Um, I'm going to pause the video for a second, and then we're going to um, take the body off, and 
I will show you guys what it looks like underneath. I think you're going to be pretty impressed. All right, so we're back with um, Traction Hobby Founder and got the, the body off. As you can see, I haven't finished cleaning it up completely. I was running in the snow um, the other day, or what little bit of snow we get here in Georgia. But this rig is truly, um, in my opinion, a work of art. Um, to show you guys just a little bit, there's, of course, the battery tray. I'm running a 3S LiPo. Um, to let you know, as heavy as this rig is with the electronics that I have in it, um, it ran for at least an hour or more the first day I took it out. Uh, plenty of battery. Didn't even have. I did take other batteries with me because it was my first run. Didn't know how long they were going to last, but I never even put another pack in it that did it. Everything I needed it to do. But yeah, everything on this is um, comes with the magnetic body mounts. They are. Uh, didn't think I was going to like them at first, but they are awesome. It makes taking the body on and off just a breeze, and um, they don't. The body won't just fall off. It really holds. Um, it's also got Velcro down the sliders to hold the body on the sides. Between that and the magnets, the body's not going anywhere. Uh, all metal transmission, drive shafts. Um, the spur gear is, however, composite. Um, but I have done wheelies in this. The slipper gear is completely tight and no issues. Um, full aluminum bodied shocks with threaded uh, adjusters on it um, very nice you see the carbon fiber chassis is five millimeters thick uh, this thing is just it's a beast guys it really is and just real quick let's see if we can uh, rear axle uh, lockouts everything is just um, it's a true work of art I mean, I love this rig. Now, I had an SCX-102 that I sold um, to get this. And am I going to tell you that this is a better rig than SCX-102? No, because I don't think there is a such thing as better. Because everyone has their preferences. Um, a lot of people love the Ascender uh, from Viterra. A lot of people love the the TRX4. It's pretty really hot right now from Traxxas. Great um, crawler and uh, just all around fun machine. Um, it's all about what you like. And this is just uh, one eight scale. It's a lot bigger. I wish I had an SCX102 to show you. I can do this. I will. Sorry about the crappy camera work, guys. But I will throw this in here. So you can see this is a 10 scale Yeti and the 8 scale Founder. So that's just a little size comparison. I can show you that. But um, it's a lot bigger than the SCX-10-2 that I sold. And I was just happy to get something new uh, and to get out there on the trails with. It does, it's a lot of fun to run out on the trails. Um, I actually bought two Power Hobby brush motors for this rig, uh, a 35 turn and a 27 turn. Uh, I, had, I had the, uh, um, I had the, the four, uh, 35 turn in here and it was great. Um, had lots of power, plenty of torque. And so when the 27 came in, I installed it and it still has plenty of torque and i'm loving the speed that it has it's not really real fast guys but it's definitely makes it um a lot more fun out on the trail it's got a hobby wing uh brushed esc that i chose to put in it and that's and this vehicle comes almost rtr where i got it from and i got it from a seller off of ebay here in the united states and it is almost rtr Meaning it comes with everything except the motor and the ESC and a battery. Of course, it didn't come with a battery, um, but everything else. Uh, it, can't, it even came with a control and and receiver. Um, it just didn't come with those those electronics. So um, I picked those up really cheap off of eBay, 
and uh, did really well with that. It comes with a spare tire rack. It does come with five of those stock tires. Sorry about the mess over there, guys. And um, the LEDs were not installed. I had to install all the LEDs on it. You have um, two five millimeter reds here in the back. Um, there's more up front on the front bumper as well. These are clear five millimeter LEDs. And then on the body, there's a full light bar with six five millimeters. There are four three millimeters in the back of the body as well as two four five millimeters up front for the headlights and uh, amber for the um, marker and turn signals. So anyway, I, I just want to show you this thing. Um, tell you that I love it and I can't wait to get the, the new foams for it so it doesn't look like it's on run flats all the time. Um, but if you want to give something else a, a try again, I'm not downplaying any of the other crawlers out there because this hobby is about what you like and what you love to run. So I'm not going to badmouth anything. I have done that in the past and I'm not going to do that anymore because at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and it's all about putting a smile on your face. But if you want to try um, an incredible rig, uh, it does have a axle mounted servo but you can't really tell it because it's hidden well up in there and it works flawlessly those see the size of those links guys those are all alloy and they are just basically unbreakable I'm telling you this thing is a work of crap craftsmanship a work of art it really is i think you'll enjoy it and uh go out and get you one I think that you will not be disappointed. The places you can get them, um, Asia Tees sells them, but they've been out of stock. Um, they're out of China. And also, I believe it's Premier Model Supply that is in Australia. They sell them. They sell them RTR. comes with a 55-turn motor and a brushed ESC and control and everything, so they're ready to run. All you got to do is put a battery in them and go. Um, they do... And they're out of uh, Australia, and then you can go on eBay and find there's a guy here in the United States selling them. It took me about four days. It got to me. Um, lots of options to pick one up if you want to, as well as the Craigsman as well. All those companies sell the Craigsman too. Uh, the biggest difference in the Craigsman is while it's all plastic, and the reason they tried to keep the price point down, so they made it more plastic than the Founder, but it, uh, it's like the TRX-4. It has all of the um, servos in it for locking, your, locking and unlocking your differentials. Uh, the two-speed transmission. And I believe it's been said. I'm not sure about this. It'll hold me to this. But I think it even goes two-wheel to four-wheel drive. So it does have all those servos in it. And that's why... <coughs> excuse me, guys. But that's why they went the way they did with the plastic to keep the price point down and not be because these two vehicles are about the same price when you order them um this one comes fully upgraded as well um and the craigsman is just it's a really good rig as well um my opinion of this versus the ascender versus the scx 10 2 or the um trx4 the the, the only the reason i would say it has a leg up is because you don't have to do anything else to it. You take it out of the box, you put your electronics in, and it's not going to break. Um, I mean, unless you run over it with a car or a truck or, you know, something crazy. But just normal rock crawling, trail riding, you're not going to break this thing. And um, I know when I got my SCX-10 too, the first thing I did was start buying uh, aluminum stuff. Uh, doing upgrades and everything this one is already there you don't have to do anything to it and that's what i love about it the only thing i'm changing are just things that i think it might make it look better or perform better on the rocks other than that none of this up here um, do i plan to change so thanks for watching guys um, actually you know what let me pause the video again i'll put the body back on and light it up for you so you can see all the leds and uh, 
let you take a look at it and see what you think. And you can add some comments down at the bottom. Let me know what your opinions are. We'll be right back. All right, so here we go. As you can see, <laughs> got some pretty bright LEDs in this one. Um, you got six lights across the top. Uh, headlights, bumper lights, and as you see the orange or the amber LEDs in the front. In the back, it is... It's got a pretty nice interior inside too guys just so you know it comes with all of this it is literally ready uh, with everything and the back has um, both of these are clear um, three millimeter LEDs but so this is just a sticker over it and um, looks pretty good and actually I said these were red I apologize for that the red ones are in the mail I thought these were red when I put them in, and they're actually amber, so they will be getting changed this next week. But yeah, this is just, uh, it's an awesome rig. If you would, guys, please comment. Uh, hit the like button if you like this video. Uh, subscribe if you think uh, my videos are worth watching. <laughs> if they're not, that's cool too. But I really would love to know, uh, have you guys' opinions about this. So please comment. Uh, if you don't like it, if you hate it, if you think it sucks... Uh, if you think the SCX-10 II or the Ascender or uh, the TRX-4 or any other crawler out there is way better than this, uh, I, I'm okay. I'm up for the debate. Um, I really want to know your guys' opinions. So until next time, I hope you guys are enjoying the hobby and um, can't wait to get this thing back out on the trail again. See you guys.